Hello there, and welcome to the perfect portfolio. In this learning video, we will understand in detail the concept of free float factor and how it is applied to listed companies in the context of equity indices. We will discuss, 1. What is free float factor? 2. Which categories of shareholders are excluded from free float? 3. What is the free float market capitalization methodology? And 4. How to compute free float market cap with the help of an example? Let's get started. Free float is a term used to denote the number of shares of a company freely available for trading to the public in the secondary market. Free float excludes any locked in, restricted or closely held shares owned by promoters, strategic investors or governments. Basically, the categories of shareholders excluded from free float are Shareholding of promoters, government holdings of strategic investments, strategic holdings by corporate bodies, investments under FDI, shares held by associate or group companies, employee welfare trusts, and lock-in category shares. Free float methodology is an ideal and accurate method of calculating equity indices. Both the Nifty 50 and S&P 500 index are computed using free float market capitalization method. Free float market capitalization of all index constituents is calculated by applying a free float factor or investable weight factor to the full market cap, thus improving the investability of the index. Free float or investable weight factor is a number, in percentage terms, which expresses the number of shares available to the public for trading. It depends on the public shareholding of the company as per its shareholding pattern. Now let's understand these concepts with the help of an example. Let's assume a company has a total of 10 lakh outstanding shares, out of which 1.2 lakh shares are held by the promoters and 1 lakh shares are held by the government. The current market price per share is 24 rupees. In this case, how do we calculate the free float factor and free float market capitalization? As you can see in the table, the shareholding of promoters is 12%, while that of the government is 10%. This implies that the remaining shares are held by the general public. Hence, free float factor is equal to the number of shares held by public divided by the total outstanding shares of the company, which in our case is 7.8 lakh divided by 10 lakh. Thus, 78% is the free float factor of this company, which represents the proportion of outstanding shares freely available for trading to the public in the secondary markets. Now, in order to calculate the market cap, the formula is equal to share price multiplied by number of outstanding shares multiplied by free float factor. So in our case the free float market capitalization is calculated as follows. A market price per share of rupees 24 multiplied by the total number of outstanding shares of 10 lakhs, multiplied by a free float of 78%, gives us a free float adjusted market cap of rupees 1.872 crores. Hope these calculations are clear to you. With that we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Please check out our social media and if you like the content, be sure to drop some likes, comments and share it with your connections. Thanks for watching.